John, good game. I saw you with the flag at the end of the game. How much did the celebration mean to you? How much did the match mean to you? Uh, it means a lot. It means a lot. But especially the fans, they came in, the numbers, their colors, and at least they deserve something to go home with. And also, the game also went well. To play against England, and we were down in the first half, and come back in the second half, it was an easy task. So, we were so happy. Did you think it was going to be a much more difficult game? Well, it was a difficult game. I'm not saying it was an easy game. It was difficult. But, like I said, Blasters team, we are family. We always stick together, we support each other. So, when you play as a team, there's no team that will defeat us. It's so easy. Before the game, what was the feeling in the dressing room? Well, it's just normal, normal game. I mean, coming in to enjoy the game, playing to our situation and do what the, man, the coach wants us to do. And we did that and then we came up with a good result. Were you disappointed that there wasn't a stronger England team? I'm not disappointed at all because the, the, Eng the England team, the, the team that played, it's an absolute fantastic team because they play. This is the one of their best team, the best game that I've, they have ever played in this world. So how much is it going to mean to the Ghanaian fans, man? Because they went wild at the end. To be honest with you, it's mean a lot, a lot to the fans. Coming in their numbers, some people buy their ticket three months before the kickoff, and today they've got the results, which is very, very good for them. And I'm so happy and proud of them. If you had more time to recover after the game on Sunday, would you have won? Yeah. I mean, I can't say my just football, but like I said, we play as a team and we always have to keep our focus and then every time we play, if we're going like this, I think we will go far. Thank you very much, sir. Tell me how the game went from your point of view, sir. Yeah, it was, it was a great game, very interesting. You know, we, we played this game for the fans. They've been expecting this game for quite a long time. Yeah. And uh, it's happened. And um, we, we were happy for the draw, although they dominated the game. I was going to say, tell me what that goal will mean at the end for the crowd. They're going home happy tonight, right? Memorable day, I'll never forget. You know, um, I did the same in the World Cup, and it has happened again. So I count myself one of the luckiest guys. You, know? you, so, got, you got the I'm, biggest I'm really cheer. Happy. I'm really, really happy. You know, um, many people predicted, and you know, it, they, it came to pass. You know? So I really, really thank God. So did this game show how much African football has come on leaps and bounds over the, over the years? Yeah, you know, now I think many people are beginning to respect Ghana. You know, we did it in the World Cup, you know, before we were underdogs. We were underdogs and uh, we were able to prove a point in the World Cup and uh, this, is what, this is what happened, you know. So, I think uh, any team playing against Ghana will not under, underrate the, uh, Ghana because we are, we are capable of winning and I'm, I'm really, really happy for this job. You're a popular man here and in Ghana, why is that? <laughs> Yeah, you know, I'm somebody who makes people happy, you know, I'm very funny, I'm very down to earth, you know, I'm anybody. And I, I'm doing my job, you know, I keep on scoring goals, you know, so for sure people That's might love me. Like yeah. I count myself lucky. You know. What's the future hold for you, man? Thursday, come on, we off. Last question, what's the future hope for Asamoah yeah. Jean? Yeah, for now, I'm, I, I don't know, for now, I'm, I'm, I'm still trying to, to work hard and get to the top, you know, because um, uh, I'm still young and I've got a lot of things to do in football, you know, so I'm just praying to God and uh, for injury-free and uh, keep on doing my job. Thank you very much.